In chapter 14, we'll learn more about the DMA. In the lab, we'll use the DMA to perform array-to-array -array transfers. Then you'll experiment with transferring data to and from the UART. ARM terminology uses the term microDMA for Cortex-M4 DMA operations. The microDMA has 32 channels and offers memory-to-memory, memory-to-peripheral, and peripheral-to-peripheral -peripheral transfers. Available transfer modes are basic, auto, where the transfer completes even if the request is removed, ping pong, and scatter gather with two priority levels. Element sizes can be 8, 16, or 32 bits, while transfer sizes can be 1 to 1024 elements in binary steps. The source and destination addresses can be incremented either by the size of the element, a half word, a word, or no increment. The processor can be interrupted when the channel transfer is complete. Both hardware and software can trigger a micro DMA transfer. CPU bus access outranks the DMA controller. Each channel can be configured with a minimum number of transfers to make before relinquishing control to a higher priority transfer. This is known as burst or arbitration. Requests can be single or burst. All 32 DMA channels are listed here. Each channel in the list has five possible assignments that can be made to it. This is significantly more flexible than most DMA channel assignments. Note the type of transfers can be single, burst, or both. In this block diagram, note the tight connection between system memory, the UDMA controller, and the nested vectored interrupt controller, and the CPU. Channel configuration for the micro DMA is accomplished through a set of control structures placed in a table. This table must be located on a 1K byte boundary. Each channel can have one or two control structures, a primary and an alternate. The primary structure is for basic and auto transfers. The alternate is for ping pong and scatter gather transfers. Note the channel control structure in the figure on the right. Contained within the structure is the source and destination pointers and a control word. The control word contains the source and destination data sizes, the source and destination address increment sizes, the number of transfers to be performed before bus arbitration can occur, the total number of elements to transfer, a flag to indicate whether or not to use burst transfers, and finally, what transfer mode to use. Lab 14 will use the micro DMA to perform array to array transfers. Then you'll experiment with transferring data to and from the UART.